I destroyed my shop so we can rebuild it together and you can see exactly how to do it yourself. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with us. And let me tell you what, this was a hard one. Welcome to Meadowlands, Wisconsin, the set of the Farm the Map adventure. And my entire shop is gone. And while I'm not concerned, I've got plenty of backups of the save game, uh, hitting delete on this was a little difficult for me to do. But I realized a couple days ago, I showed uh, some pictures and some video of making some updates to this shop to add a wash bay uh, and add some internal components to it that didn't require me to go into the Giants editor. I did it all in the game editor and I thought, you know what? Maybe you'd like to see exactly how I did this because it's not easy, but it's also not that difficult. It's definitely something you could do and realistically all platforms could do it we're on an all-platform map i'm using mostly all-platform mods although the tricky one is going to be this shop right here this is the western iowa or small western iowa shop that is not on all platforms but i think you could substitute something else that is all platforms so wh what the heck am i talking about well I'll put a little bit of video sprinkled in here so you can see exactly what I did. I put a building inside of a building, and I also added an indoor wash bay. I really wanted an indoor wash bay. I wanted to take this awesome uh, shop that I had, and the actual shop is called... We'll go ahead and find it. It is the... Come on, come on, come on, come on. What kind of, it's all the way in the front. Don't you hate when you do that? Wait, is it in the front? It's in the middle. It's right here. It's the American Shed with Lounge Mod. It's available for all platforms. I love this shop. It's huge. It's got a beautiful kitchenette in the front. It's got a ton of area for you to park your vehicles. The problem that I was having with it is that it was too clean on the inside. There was, I guess, too much open space. So I wanted to kind of clutter it up. And I wanted to add some stuff inside. And to do that, we had to work in a very unique way. And that was, well, putting the main outer building down and then adding the items inside the building. Uh, let me just show you what we have to do. So this, this is it. And you can kind of see what I'm doing. There's a wash bay over here. Don't worry about the ground stains and... Uh, the uh, painted ground that was actually concrete to begin with. Let's delete all this. Let's just start from scratch. So let's just start selling. Boom. Gone. I got the character here. We'll get rid of that. And again, this is so painful. Uh, but again, fortunately, I've got a save game backup uh, if this were to all go south. because This is my main map that I'm actually playing on right now. We're doing a farm the map challenge. Uh, where I've taken No Man's Land and completely transformed it into an American farm in Wisconsin where we own everything. And instead of having, you know, tons of uh, productions and sell points, we have fields. We're farming the map. Uh, and we're doing so with one farm. I've got a series going on that I'd love for you to check it out. But that is not what this is for. Chances are, if you're here watching this, you've already seen some of that from the map series, and I love it. There are um, some other uh, uh, channel members and YouTube uh, community members that are taking on the challenge on No Man's Land. It's very, very cool. I love to see that. It's a great map. I do recommend you trying it if you want to change the way the game actually plays. Or if you've kind of gotten bored with Farm Sim, uh, give it a shot. I think it's definitely worth it. Farm the map. One map, one farm, farm all the land. All right, that's enough of my uh, sales pitch. I'm going to leave the parking area and this fence as well as this generator intact. And I think I might even leave 
uh, these intact because I it took me a very long time to get all this, you know, properly aligned, and I kind of want to keep it. And I might keep this here as well because again, that was aligned a very specific way. I will get rid of these ground stains if it will allow me. It might not allow me to because I have yeah. Well, just have to highlight them properly. And I doubled up on some of these to make them darker, which I thought was kind of cool. That is something you can do. Interestingly enough, they're not letting me delete some of them. Hmm. That's weird. And I will say this. So in my typical uh, map build videos, I do give myself just 30 excuse me, 60 minutes to do these builds. Uh, I'm going to give myself whatever time I need here because I need to rebuild this. I need this shop to be functional. And, you know, hey, if I need to do a couple of cuts here and there, I will. I think the goal is for me to show you how this works. Uh, and what I'm trying to do right now is delete these ground stains. There we go. Yes. Delete the ground stain. I've had problems deleting some items in the game. You have to, like, find the exact trigger point for them. And I kind of am doing better at that right now. What I'm trying to avoid is losing these and then having just too many elements on the map at once or in one single area. I think it can cause a little bit of performance degradation. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining that, but I feel like it's better to, if you can, delete everything before you rebuild something. It's not letting me delete any of those. So here's what I've done in this instance before. I've come into landscaping, and I've actually dug down, because these elements are just sitting on top of um, the ground layer. And can I now come in and actually, no, they're not letting me do it. Very frustrating. Oh, there we go. It's like you've just got to hit the right spot. There we go. And, of course, I put a ton of these down. Alright, I think that is the last of that one there. I don't think... No, that's not one. There is... Or there are a couple over here. And, of course, I d doubled up on these. It was great, you know for the game, but now it's so problematic to get rid of. Alright, we're so close right now. I think I've just got, yep, a couple of ground stains here. Come on, there we go. A ground stain here. And these are available for all platforms from the in-game mod hub. I just have to be patient. You know, sometimes this game is really is just about patience. I am 99% certain there's a stain here. I just went over it and it, you could see it highlighted itself. Come on. Maybe I won't put as many ground stains down. <laughs> uh, but you gotta have details. They're like little happy clouds. And happy trees you put on your map. Come on. Uh-oh, I had a spinning beach ball there. That's never good. Alright, oh! It's almost like the layer's trying to load. 
Let's see if I can see it. No? That is uh, the console that I just opened up right there, which is part of um, Easy Development and, well, I guess you actually don't need Easy Dev for that, but it is it is a PC and Mac only type thing where you can see, there we go. I don't know if there's something where that file is just not loading, so it's not allowing me to um, delete. Or maybe I had too many of them down. But a very interesting, um, interesting right there. And something I'm going to have to think of when I rebuild this. Because I don't know if I'm going to want to put so many stains on the ground. It could cause, you know, a fairly decent uh, degradation in performance. I don't think this is a stain. No, that's not. Okay, so we can actually get to building now. So how the heck do we do this? Well, here's what we're going to do. Uh, first, I need to level out the ground. Now, I, yes, I would need to level out the ground. I was going to say you don't need to because the, you know, dropping the asset on the map would do that for you. But I've still got stuff here, so I'm going to have to turn off that uh, auto. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's come in here to landscaping, sculpting, leveling. And I'm just going to level this out. Level it out back to where it was. And I, I I just did that so that I could, you know, get access to those ground stains. And I don't even know if, they, if that helped or not. Okay, I think that's good. Now, we're going to find the... We're going to add the shop. So first thing we do here, we're going to work... Big out to in. So we're going to drop the shop down first. And again, that is the American Shed with Lounge. And what other color do we want? We had a white shop uh, to begin with. Maybe, you know, I've, I've been adding some red, a little bit of red around the farm. Let's go red. I do like red. Do we want bright red? Or do we want, do they have, do they have dark red? Hmm. I think I'm going to go bright red. I, I don't know why. Just, it, it feels right. Okay. Now, again, it's overlapping other objects. So this is what I was talking about. I can't drop this down without turning overlapping off, which in this case, I'm, I'm hitting the V key on the keyboard. Um, now I'm going to try and line this up ever so perfectly with my existing... And this is another reason why I left... Uh, the fencing up because I felt like if I could line up the generator and the fence I would be really really close to where I was and if all of this completely fails and goes south uh, again I have the save game that I can that I can go to I'm gonna turn off snapping so there is you can hit C and that'll actually snap to the grid and make it um, snap to, you know, proper alignment. I'm going to turn that off, but I am going to use some of my existing... Yeah, okay, I want to make sure I'm, I'm properly aligned at the 90. So I want this, again, all to be plumb. And this is where it starts to get really, really tough, because we're not doing this inside the Giants Editor. If you were a mod maker, or you were proficient in modding. I am not. Maybe someday. You'd likely do all this in Giants Editor, or you'd be doing this in some other 3D animation software to build uh, an object yourself. I'm not that gifted um, by any means. Kudos to those who are. So I've got to do it this way. And I think this is kind of fun to see this process because again as a console player you can do this as well i think that's probably going to be it so again i've got my overlap turned off i'm gonna drop it down okay so now there's my building is back my outer building we're gonna go inside and see how badly i'm off i don't know how far i'm off hey look the picture 
actually now matches the color of the shed. That's kind of cool. All right, let's come in here. We've got a white interior. Uh, oh, you know, that all matched up really, really well. That is perfect there. And this looks to be fairly spot on over here, too. Very happy with that. I was worried. Again, would not have been a problem, but I'm glad it's 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 proper now. Um, all right, now we do have a little bit of the so the the item itself has a concrete floor layer, but some of the actual map ground layer is coming through. So we need to fix that. And to do that, we're going to open these doors so we can see a little better. And I might even turn on the lights. Okay, lights are on. Look how bright it is. Oh my gosh. This is what I was talking about. So this is a massive open space. Um, very cool, cool asset. Cool placeable item. It just is way too, like, hospital-grade clean for a farm, in my opinion. Um, so we're going to fix that, and we are going to come over here. And I want to put... So, again, this is where this is where it starts to get really interesting. We're going to put another building inside of here, and I want my wash bay right over here. I want an indoor wash bay that I can drive all my equipment into. So back into the... Uh, the in-game editor over here. And I want to get rid... I want this to go down. I want my proper concrete. So I'm going to come into landscaping uh, and I'm going to... I'm just going to flatten probably off of here. Well, I might actually just go here. We're just going to slowly tap this down. What I'm doing is I am lowering the terrain where it's allowing me to because I want that to not be um, visible. I want the placeable items floor to be what is seen. And now it is. Excellent. Now I might have to go back. You know, when all is said and done, I could have mod accidentally changed some of my uh, exterior here. And it looks like I did, but we can fix that. Uh, a little later. Okay. What are we going to do now? Let's go ahead and let's add the building. So this is how I did that. Now, again, I do like to use all platform mods, but in this case, I want to use um, the, what is it called? It's over here. It is the shop. It is the Western Iowa shop. And I do I want red? Or do I want... Oh, that's kind of cool. So, like, white with the red piping on it. And the goal of this, again, a building of this size, in my opinion, would have um, extra areas inside of it. Partitions, um, a different maybe even layers, levels, um, rooms, storage areas, and it's not here. So I am taking another building, putting it inside this building to simulate that. Do we like that? Let's see. What's the other option? So it would be white on black. Oh, you know what? I can do that, but that doesn't look right at all. I feel like this was kind of the closest yeah I like that okay so here's what we got to do I've got to just think about whoa so we're now we're not going to be able to see a ton of, uh, of of what we're doing it's going to be some trial and error I've got to think okay I want my wash bay to be over on the left side and I can't point with my mouse right now because I'm moving uh, around this building I don't want to place this over here. That would interrupt where my wash bay is. I don't want to place this all the way over here. That's where my storage for my and all my other equipment's going to go. So I want a very happy medium. And I also can't see as I get all the way down there. 
So I don't know where um, it starts to go outside and start to clip through the wall. So it's trial and error. And you can use, in this particular example, this floor does have some lines on it. So you can use that as some guides. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to push this back till I see it start to go through the wall. And I can just see that downspout. You see how that goes through there? And then it pops out. And I'm going to turn off snapping so that it's a little easier to move. I've also got the... Um, oh, that's interesting. It's actually letting me... I don't know why. I've turned off the um, the auto-leveling with the V-key. Usually it wouldn't allow you to do that, but for some reason it is. Alright, I'm going to just take a guess here, folks. And I'm using this... Okay, if you can see that downspout right in front of us. I'm using this line on the floor as my guide because I know that is plumb and I know that they're plumb in both directions so I, I can actually use them to verify that I'm I am lined up and I'm actually not lined up so I'm going to turn snapping back on so now that is lined up alright I'm going to have to have snapping on so I want it to be plumb I want my walls plumb alright push it back using that line right there back to the wall right until the downspout goes away and then I'm going to pull it back just a little bit and maybe just a little bit more on the mouse we're going to drop it let's see what it does here so we now have a building inside of a building and yes you're going to get clipping again there's going to be certain things that are clipping in here um, really not a whole lot we can do with that again we're working inside the game editor um, instead of working inside of Giants Editor to, you know, custom make these, um, these items. So let's see. Does everything still work? Yes, it does. I'm not clipping through there. We're right up against that wall. That is perfect. I open this door. That is still functioning. It's really, really bright in here. Everything is magnified, um, because I've got extra lights now. That's okay. We'll add some stuff and it will be just fine. That door still works. I've still got room for everything to come in. And it went basically perfect right there. Plumb off those lines. And you can see that right there. I was using those, those markers to make sure we were as plumb as possible. And I think we are. Now over here, what do I envision for a wash bay? Well... First, I need to make sure that I can fit a combine in here. So, if I can't fit a combine in here, then I'm going to have to delete the building that's inside, and I'm going to have to reposition it. So, let's just grab something that's super wide. Take the Reaper here. So I can get out of the combine, which is good, without clipping through the wall. That's a little tight. you got to ask yourself, do I want to, you know, move this over a little bit? Maybe closer to this line and risk messing it up back here? Or do we leave it? I think we're going to move it. So what we can do is um, we can take the combine... Actually, I have an idea. So we can come into the build mode. And I'm going to drop a placeable item to where I want it to go to, basically. So in tools, I've actually really nice set of items. They're called placeable warehouse items. you got this uh, ballard here. And I want this. And I can't get any closer than this, folks. So again, I tr tr traditionally when I'm doing these maps, I'm right up on it. 
if I go right up on it, I'm up here. And I don't know if there are any mods that exist to get rid of, like, clipping on the cam so you can actually fly through things. I have no clue. Um, so right now, this is, this is as good as I can get. This is as close as I can get to this. Um, but I want to bring this off of this corner, and I want to bring it out maybe to about there. So I want to put that bollard there. Now I'm going to delete this item. And that is where I need my office to go. On that plane, but up against the wall. <laughs> Are you still with me? Or have, you, have I lost everyone from my craziness in this game? This is what this game does. It's so much fun. Um, I love it. All right. We're going to put this on this plane. So right here. But we're now going to push it back. And we're going to do the same exercise that we did before. Where I'm looking at that uh, downspout. And I'm bringing it out. And then just a touch more. And we're dropping it down. Let's see if we did any better. So we're pretty close now with that bollard. And we come in here. And we've got... We're, ugh, so this is... this is That's not bad. That's actually might be in our favor. The question will be... Um, are we clipping through the back wall? If we're clipping through the back wall, then... Oh, look at that. We are not... That is surprising, actually. I was worried we'd be clipping through this back wall, and I did not want that. Ooh, I kind of like that. Because then that little window that is next to the computer uh, desk doesn't seem like it's just looking at another wall. It actually feels like this white metal wall is now part of this indoor... I like that. I think we're going to keep that. Let's go over to the other side, and let's check the combine. Oh, and by the way, we do have windows, and those windows still work, which is great. So we can look out there and see. Yep, okay, the combine is there. And that is significantly better width-wise. I'm much, much happier with that. All right, so we're getting there. We're getting back to where, where I was. And all I'm going to do here is just move this combine out of the way. Because now we get to really have fun, and that's to start detailing um, our wash bay over there. And we have to follow the very similar rules that we were working on before. Um, I am going to see if... Okay, if I go into tools, I've got these karakers. I never can pronounce these right. Kar karakers. This is a nice um, pack, a wash station mod, available for all platforms on the in-game mod hub. Again, I try very, very hard, folks, to do all platform mods if I can. I get the frustration. Um, you know, I'm on the forums and I see folks, you know, you see an amazing, like, Silverado or Ford F450 or something like that, and you're like, hey, is that coming to console? It's probably not. And it's not because modders are like intentionally doing that to you it's just it's so difficult to get mods for all platforms that are you know branded or um you know are going to require a ton of testing uh so many of the cool mods yes do get released only for mac and pc um and and i've been there i've been on console before so i try to do mods that are on a platform in this case the shop is not I'm very clear on that but you could substitute it with something else. In fact, Legacy Ag has a really nice shop that would probably work in here. Um, let's see where that's at. I'm not going to drop it in, uh, but it is a tool mod. This would work. The Red Barn Pack has a has a garage you could put in there if you wanted to. Uh, let's see here. Where's Legacies? There it is. So this is a this is a really great example of a mod that was released early on by Legacy Ag um, for Mac and PC, and then he submitted it to uh, Giants, and it got approved. So this is an all-platform mod. 
you could fit that in there. And this has, um, you know, very cool, and almost the color almost matches really, really well. Um, so there, there's a thought if you wanted to have, uh, if you were on console, were wanting to do this. I digress. Let's get back to the wash bay. So in tools, I'm going to put the character. Again, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. This is just a open wash station. This is going to be a fairly long little hall right here. So I'm going to push this back to where I'm up against the wall. And I'm going to drop that in there. And then I think I'll put one of these safety bollards in front of it because I don't want to drive into it. And again, I'm, I'm working way over here. But sometimes I'm coming closer to me to check the alignment. And this is where this placeable item is so helpful because I've got these lines and I can verify. You know, if I'm slightly off, that's just going to annoy the heck out of me. I don't want that. So I want it to be nice and parallel and properly plumb. Now I'm going to come back over and I'm pushing my mouse all the way as far as I can get it to where I think it's going to look good. And I'm dropping it down. And then I might add some other type of just decorative items in here. I think, what, what do we have? Uh, we had some, like, wash barrels. I think I had some wash buckets over there. Let's see what I can find. We're going to use those very shortly, the concrete divider mods. I want to find those wash buckets and barrels. Where the heck are they? I do this all the time. I get into the the asset manager uh, and I'll scroll right by stuff. It's even harder when you're doing recordings uh, for videos because you know your mind is in one place and you skip by it. Where in the heck are those darn things? They're blue. I know they're blue. They all the way over? Yeah, there they are. My word. Okay, so let's. And again, I'm I'm just assuming, I'm like throwing this out there where I think it's gonna be correct. It might not be. I might rotate it a little bit. We're throwing that down there. I think there are also some bigger, like yeah, right there. So that's like a fifty gallon. That there, and that there. Great. Now, what I had, going down the center, I had those, um, they're in decorative items, and they are right here. They are uh, border stone. Um, it's called the Border Stones and Flower Pot mod. These are rusty water channels. And I'm going to run them, I think, right along this crack in the concrete. Again so that everything stays nice and plumb. And I'm going to have to just assume here and, and just guess that I'm doing this right. I'm going to put it right up there. Boom. Drop that down, and I'm going to run a line of those right down the center here. Maybe to about there. Yeah, that works. Okay, I like that. Now, what did we have? We had, um, we had another um, power washer. So back over in tools. So it's going to be in buildings, tools. And I'm going to put this right up against. This is this is difficult. And I don't think there's any other way to do this without being in the Giants Editor um, or actually making the mod yourself as a placeable item. If if I'm wrong, someone please, by all means, comment uh, down in the, in, the, uh, in the comment section. I don't think there's a better way to do this. Um, just completely trial and error. Okay, let's just walk down there real fast and see what this looks like. So I've got my 
This worked out well, so that's right down the center. This worked out well. That's right there. Does it still work? Yep. Everything still works. We've got my barrels. We can see into the office, actually into the garage. We've got this power washer. Does it work? Yes, it does. Save. Always save. Highly recommend you always save. Although I haven't had that um, major crash happen in a while since I got rid of a couple of scripting mods. That's a different story altogether, though. Okay. So, what else did we have? We had, back in the editor, we had these very cool decorative items. They are concrete dividers. Let me come over to these right here. I love these. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. I think they're intended for, like, commodity sheds, where they do have collisions on them. All platform mod, concrete divider on the in-game mod hub. What I want to do with this is I want this to be one of the edges of my... The reality is we could probably run these all the way down if we wanted concrete walls on our um, uh, wash bay. We might do that. Yeah, that might be a little addition from what we had originally on the, um, the original video. But I first have to get this down here. So I, I don't want this going through. Again, that could be clipping through there. This is going to be some trial and error as well. And I want this to be right up next to the power washer. But not clipping into the garage. So I'm going to drop it down. And I'm going to walk over here and just see what the heck it looks like. And that, I mean, you can't get... You can get a little better than that, I think. But I don't want any clipping through these walls. I'm not. That's good. It's not perfect. You can kind of see through there, but that, I think, is okay. And you've still got the power washer right there, which looks fairly good. There's a little bit of a clipping. Uh, the power washer into that, because these are kind of like a... A pyramid shape, but that's okay. No worries. I think that'll be just fine. Let's come in and let's drop another one of those in. So back in decoration, other. And I think I went, I didn't do two of those. Maybe I did, because that's the three. And then I use the four here. So let's get that butted up right there. Now we've got that side of the wall. I don't, okay, so I don't think I'm going to line this with concrete. And here's why. I'm seeing that the light, the reflection of light, is... It really, really darkens it up. And we might, it might become too dark in here. Uh, I don't think I want to add, like, extra lights, although you certainly could. Uh, but there's there's your wash bay. Now, we were using this kind of as a commodity shed, so what, what did we do here? Well, I'm going to come in, and I'm going to go to tools, actually decorations, others. Scroll all the way to the end. This is a all-platform metal shelf mod as part of the U.S. White Farm Buildings Pack. I'm going to rotate it. And again, use my lines over here so that I get my, my plum. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to line these up right here. I don't want any clipping in the building, so I've got to come out just a little bit. I don't want any clipping into the concrete, so we're coming out just a little bit. And we turn off the overlaps key. And I think I had two of these in here. Nice. Uh, and then I put just... This is where you start to have fun. So in your decorative items, uh, I think I put down... What did I have? I put one of these in here. Just like, I don't know... Maybe you'd have some wash, like, towels and rags you'd throw in there. 
Again, just watching the clipping. That's too far. Coming back, that's probably about right. Don't want to come too far. We'd have too much space. So go up, let it clip, and then bring it out just a little bit. And drop. <laughs> Completely botched that. Delete. I wish there was a, an, you know, like an Apple Z or Control Z. Yeah, you can tell I'm on a Mac. Um, I don't know how many other Mac players there are out there running Farm Sim. Am I the only one? I highly doubt that. Um, there's got to be a ton out there. I, it's what I have, right? There's no... I'm not doing it because there's any um, advantage to it. I'm doing it because it's what I have. Um, you know, I, I maybe someday, if I'm able to continue doing this, and, and really, it's I guess you all are in control of that, if we continue to have visitors to the channel and viewers and uh, we grow this, well, maybe I'll get into a PC and actually have uh, the game uh, Giants Editor and work on that. But for now, I'm on a Mac. It's what I've got. We use what we use. Very cool. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's now an indoor. And let's just go grab something. Um, I'll grab this combine that's here. fits very easily. Come down here. Get out. You know, you might have a, a semi-trailer in here and you'd use this way down here. But for a combine, you might just be right here. You grab this. You turn it on. You go ahead and spray it down. You're in the nice warm shop. You'd have to maybe think of some type of uh, humidity uh, mitigation because you know, I guess in real life, this would be completely isolated on its own. I'm not that fortunate. Um, I guess maybe if you, like, if it really bothered you, you could try very hard to, I have no clue, this is just me guessing here. You, you could try building up this to go like higher and that doesn't look right to me there's there's no concrete wall mod that we that i am aware of um that would work so again you got to take a little bit of creative license for some of this stuff now you just kind of have fun and what you know what do you want to do uh so look around this is the area where for for my particular map uh, i'm going to store chemicals and seeds um, all the equipment which I've pulled out is over here and when I have the equipment in here now it is very tight you've got to play equipment Tetris to get stuff in here a uh, little workshop over here working area we've got some part storage up top this is all just the base stuff so that is again why I really like this uh, mod and then here we have um, just I'm, I'm role-playing like I would have, like, John Deere HydroGuard and maybe Mobile Delvac and various oils and whatnot. That's, like, diesel fuel. Um, and those are all platform mods. They're just crates that you can actually see the diesel fuel in, and it works pretty well. But over here, you could continue to really build this up if you wanted to. Uh, you could come in here and uh, you could add more shelving. So, and this is where it gets really tough. Like, you could turn here. So let's go back into decorative items. That shelving is in other. And it's all the way down here at the end. There's other shelving you can use, but this is the one that I kind of like because it's tall. And again, i got to turn off that overlap function. And then you've just got to, like, kind of play with it here to try and get it to line up where you want it. I don't want it. I don't want it coming through. I don't want it too far out. But I want it to be right about there. And now we've got you know a shelf right there. We could even take it a bit further and you could 
you know, put a partition in here because, you know, I'm likely going to have my sprayer and uh, I'm going to have all my uh, seed bags and, and totes and whatnot here. You could come and you could put, uh, you know, partitions that kind of separate this area where that bollard is uh, from the main equipment over here. And, you know, again, now we've got the main elements in and installed. It's functioning. It's working well. Now all the details are up to you. You just have to remember, you're still going to be restricted to adding items where you're looking through the garage door. It's not going to be easy, but it is a lot of fun. And that's really what this game is all about. And I went ahead and put all the equipment back in so you can see the chaos that ensues. It feels, I think, so much more realistic. We'll fly over here, you can see a very dirty truck into the wash bay, ready for washing. And then we've got seed and fertilizer storage here in the uh, interior building and garage. It is tight. Um, with this shop in here, but we've still got the use of the little work area, which is very nice. There's a bathroom. We've got the garage over here where I currently have the case sprayer. Um, and just, again, this is a do-it-yourself DIY homemade um, interior conversion for this shed that I think really uh, makes it so much more realistic. Although, the millions upon millions of dollars of equipment that I have in here probably not as realistic for a farm this size but hey you know it's farm sim you got to have tons of equipment right thank you so much for sticking around uh, through this build I know it was slightly different than one of our normal 60 minute speed builds but I thought it would be interesting to see how you could put assets inside of assets or placeables uh, inside of placeables uh, and it turned out really well and you can do this on all platforms and if you're interested in seeing me actually play this map I've got a series going on of farm the map here in Meadowlands Wisconsin where we're farming the entire map of no man's land with one farm trying to make an honest living with cattle and crops we'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Sovers.